Вы кто ты, откуда, кого ты продал? Передай мне провод, это Тольятти Город за наших выпить повод Вашим хоп тут подан, если пиздел Поломан, бляди в бэхи стонут Извиваются, ай, как красиво Пляшут, Франклин любит Даша Франклин любит Маша, наша Раша, гордость, Россия наша Шлюза, града, йога, мура, дом Это не ваша, ломал систему Система наебала, снова привет вам Дядя Дима, привет вам дядя Ну вы знаете, что он и говорит Я тут, американский Шенкс на Вьетма. Я что? О, я не знаю. Я верно, что то смешное. Я верно. Guys, guys, English, please. But I, our trip to America is in less than a week, so you guys have to keep practicing your English. Okay, okay. He is correct. Now, does everyone have their passports ready? Yes, I got mine last week. Ivan. Yes, I am standing on it right now. What do you mean? I keep my passport in my shoe. In your shoe? But wait, why would you want to... <sighs> you know what, I don't care. But anyways, you guys all said to go to America? Because, you know, we're going to get paid, and most importantly, get laid. You boys ready? Da. Da. I, I don't know what the hell that means. This is the number one champion sound. Yeah, Estelle, we about to get down. Get down. Who the hottest in the world right now? Just touched down in London town. Bet they give me a pound. Tell them put the money in my hand right now. Yes. Got a promoter, we need more seats. We just sold out all the floor seats. Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday. York, I love to see LA I really want to come pick you with you You'll be my American boy He said, hey sister, it's really, really nice to meet ya I just met this 5% Oh, finally we're here Long flight out, but we made it <gasps> Guys! I forgot my lucky underwears. We have to go back. What? Oh wait, I found it. Oh god oh, damn come it. On. Okay, boys, welcome to my territory. Yes, it's almost as good the second time. Ivan, you son of a bitch. I wasn't leaving Russia without my lucky underwears. How are they even lucky? So, Ivan, does it have like some sort of charm to it or? My mother sits my name into them before she passed away. My dad came back from his corporate job just to attend a funeral. I wore that underwear to a funeral as a sign of respect. And after my dad passes, I'm gonna feel guilty inheriting all their money. Walter, this is the name she stitched. I don't even see your name in it. All I see is Fruit of the Looms. It oh shit! These are the wrong underwears. We have to go back. Taxi. Guys? Guys?
this place looks nice. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Woo! Yeah, baby! Sorry guys, I couldn't do that at the airport without getting arrested. <laughs> Is this the right room? It says room 407, so it must be it. Oh, hurry up, open it. Okay, give me a second. Finally, there we go. Holy shit, Dofer. How could you afford to room like this? It's actually very simple, you see. I cannot. A catfish is dude named Walt. He believes a hot Russian girl named Svetlana is gonna meet him here in four days. So he can pay for a room until he comes. But we leave in three days. I know. He really is one crazy American. Yeah, he is, right? We're talking about you. They have bar here? Come on guys, let's have a seat. This place is nicer than I thought. Guys, why are we wasting our times here when we could be out getting girls? I hear you guys are looking for girls. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Dante knows the places. Who's Dante? When is he going to be here? I'm Dante. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Do you want to fucking go or not? Okay guys, let's get fucked up! Dante, brother! Thank you so much for this. Yeah, your friend Tover seems to have found himself a little treat. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, Dante. Introduce us to your mates. Ladies, uh, this is Ivan and Stavi. Ivan and Stavi, this is Crystal and Diamond. Well, hello, ladies. It is my pleasure. Oh, I like the accent. Where are you from? Moscow. Oh, Russian boys. Kochupov Vysilisa? Do you have a dish for Ruski? Nimnoga. I'm a lot better in English, trust me. <laughs> well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Why is your friend so quiet? Is he shy? Ivan, don't just sit there. 
Sorry, this this is all very new to me. So you're a quiet beginner. I like that. Our shift ends in 20 minutes. And our hotel is only 10 minutes away. See you guys in a second. Ivan, come on, you need to get out of your shell. I'm paying for this. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Hey guys, no need for arguing. I said you guys were gonna have a good time, and that good time is about to start. All right, and now since you guys are new here, I'm gonna let you each have one, and I'm gonna sit this one out. Why don't you guys just go ahead and consider it my treat? Well, thank you, Dante. That is very much appreciated. Hey, it's no problem. Now I'm gonna head out, I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye. Oh, or uh, should I say, Parashe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ivan. Now me and you. Let's show these ladies a good time. Stavi, Stavi, wake up. No, oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, last night was pretty crazy. Are the girls still here? No. Gone night to win. Wait a second, is... Is Stavi here? I do not know. Oh, he probably came in a little after without the girl. <sighs> yeah, we'll see him at the breakfast. Come on, Topher, pick up. Pick up. Hey Topher, we've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. You reached Topher. Leave your matches after the beat. Hey Topher, it's Ivan. We don't know where you are. So just give me a call back. He did not pick up? No. That's odd. Topher always has his phone on him. Hey, maybe he's still with that girl from last night, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's just all kind of off-putting. Don't worry, Ivan. Everything is going to be all right. Do you want me to tell you a story that will make you feel better? Uh, sure. I had once read a story about a man who had a bad day at work. And all he wanted to do was go home. So we got to his apartment, opened the door, to find his wife sitting there, watching TV, holding his daughter, and screamed. He heard a voice say, For he did not know what was more disturbing. The fact that his wife had died in childbirth five years ago. Or because someone had gone to the trouble to put them there. The end. How the hell is that supposed to make me feel better? Oh yeah. Uh, and I forget. sent us a picture, so at least he, we know he's okay. But... 
Why would he just leave without saying anything? Bro, it's fine. Look, we still have another day here. Let's not worry about this, alright? I'm sure at the very latest, he'll meet us back at the airport, okay? Now, let's go find those girls and enjoy the rest of the time we still have here, alright? Alright. <laughs> Just tell me when you see the girls, okay? Hey, have any of you Russian pussies seen the rest of my band? Pussies? Well, uh, you are what you eat. Have you seen my band or not? We haven't seen your fucking band, alright? We don't even know where our fucking friend is. Ugh, whatever. Well, she's not very pleasant. You're telling me. Oh, oh shit, look. It's the girls. They just couldn't get enough of us, eh? You better have a pickup line ready. Did you just fall from heaven? Because you're the only ten I see. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, the Russian boys. Looking for round two? Or are you guys still tired? I'm not round. I'm fairly skinny. Ah, <laughs> no, <laughs> he's, he's kidding. He's kidding. He's kidding. So, um, we were wondering if you ladies would uh, accompany us to the club later tonight? Why, of course. We're off today anyway. Well, perfect. We'll see what club liquor will at, uh, say, 10 o'clock. Okay. See you guys there. All right, round two, Ivan, let's do it. Yeah, but it just doesn't feel right to ditch Topher like this. Hey, man, Topher ditched us. I don't think we should be going out with the girls. I think we should go and find them. Ivan, it's our last night here. Let's end it on a high note. They agreed at 10 o'clock. Oh, there they are. I guess we're in. Take a stick out of your ass and get over here. What's wrong? Not in the dancing mood? Something just doesn't feel right. I've known Dofer for five years and this isn't like him. Here, have a drink. It'll relax you. It's just that not once would I ever think Dofer would do something like this. That's why I don't think he did. What would he just do that and only send a text? Maybe. 
Baby, I don't know. It's, it just doesn't add up. <clears throat> Honey, are you feeling okay? You don't look so good. This is some strong vodka. What? What is this? Take the bag off of him. What? What? The? Sophie? What the fuck is this? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Ivan, Ivan. You poor, poor thing. Do you know how much just one US dollar is worth in Russia? I get paid $20,000 just to bring you and Tover here. You know I live in a shithole part of the town, and I'll do anything to get out of it. Don't think for one second that I will not hesitate to sell you and Tover to this place if it means that wealth is the light at the end of that tunnel. Look at yourself. You are just a shy, insecure man-child. And you deserve nothing. You're pathetic. You think someone like me or Crystal would ever like a pussy like you? Thanks to her, I got you right where I need you. Stubby, please don't do this. The end me got back.
Ah, yes. Please, please. Here they are, you say, ah, the beautiful eyes. He is a Russian, right? Ah, then I will take him. You know, I have always been fascinated with the male anatomy. And uh, I have always wanted the man's genitals in a jar. <laughs> and this seems like it's a perfect opportunity. No, 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 no! Get up, please! Please, for the love of God! Don't! I've never done anything to you! Please, don't do this! Let me go! Shh. I won't tell a soul! I won't tell anybody! Please, let me go! Let me go! Shut up! Please! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Now you listen here. No matter how loud you scream, no one will ever hear you. It is just you oh. and me. As I'm going to make sure that this session is slow and painful. I'm paying a lot of money just to be in this room with you. As I'm going to get my money's worth. I know, I know. I don't want to mess up this pretty face, but I have to. <laughs>
Dopfer? Oh mein Gott. Hey! Just coming back or getting ready? <clears throat> Just got back. First time? Yes. Yeah, I can always spot the newbies. I thought you maybe just didn't recognize me without my blonde hair. I was getting too many M&M jokes. Hmm. I'll tell you this right now. I've been doing this for years, but nothing beats the first time I really, I just really got to open someone up. I remember it like it was fucking yesterday. I got this Ecuadorian girl, right? And I skinned her alive because I wanted to see if she's as beautiful on the inside as she was on the outside. I, 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 I have to go. Did you get the Russian? Yes. You know, I've seen a lot of pussies in my day, but, uh, nothing beats that fucking guy. You know, that dumbass didn't even know that his friend, his fucking friend was the one that contacted us. <laughs> you know, for me, they lined up something real special. Apparently it's some rocker chick or something from some famous band. Can you believe that fucking shit? I'm gonna be killing a fucking rock star. Kaka, you're up! Shut her up as quick as you can. Looks like I'm up. <laughs> God bless America. Someone has escaped. Initiate code red. Someone has escaped. Initiate code red. You're in pain when you're fucking smiling! <coughs> hey, get the fuck out of here or I'll put you in this fucking chair! Are you fucking deaf? Here, put 
put this on. We have to get out of here. There's guards there. Come on, we gotta keep moving though. Stop the car! Stop the car!
We got to keep moving. Looks like a bus station. Shit. Security is there. I don't want to chance this, but it's our only way out. I got to get out of this uniform. That's all we'll be out. Give me the car. Wait, what, what, what are you?
I'm taking the bus right now to meet my other two friends from Russia. I want a little more money for these two. Ah, Victor and Dimitri, I'm so glad you guys came out. That was a long flight, I have to say. Me and Victor, so glad to be here. So, how are we getting around? I have a taxi waiting for you guys. Uh, I'll be right back though, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. Attention LSIA passengers, flight to Moscow will be departing in 15 minutes. Again, flight to Moscow will be departing in 15 minutes. Taken. I said it's taken. Go to another fucking stall or I'll break your fucking teeth in.
Ivan, please stop! Please stop! <laughs> Scatter you, Doroka. Рано, за то, что боль причинял за раной рано Прости меня, мама, я во многом виноват Прости, что я не стал таким, как старший брат Моя жизнь, мама, как черно-белое кино Все вроде бы неплохо, но всегда есть одно но Понять нелегко, почему все именно так, именно так и не иначе Что это значит, пожелай мне удачи, мама Меня завел дорога, ты слезы прячешь, мама Меня не будет долго, я знаю, знаешь, мама Я знаю, веришь, мама Ты верила и веришь в меня, и это немало И когда сбивала судьба меня с ног Сквозь боли и отчаяния слышал голос Вставай, сынок, эту балладу я посвящаю всем матерям Что свою любовь дарят нам Скажи мне, мама, сколько стоит моя жизнь? Моя жизнь — это драма, моя душа несется ввысь. Скажи мне, мама, сколько стоит моя жизнь? Моя жизнь — это драма, моя душа несется ввысь. А, а, в самые трудные минуты моей жизни, Когда смерть подходила очень близко, Звезды искрами падали с неба И мысли о тебе, мама, как лучик света В поисках ответа, в поисках пути Я собираю все силы и продолжаю идти За все прости меня, мама, я был во многом виноват Но все осталось в прошлом, время не вернуть назад Пытаюсь встать с колен, немного приподняться Но что-то мне мешает от земли оторваться Молюсь Дай мне сил, Боже, понять, что меня тревожит Кто мне поможет, быть может, Боже Моя вера слаба, но где бы я ни был, я помню эти слова Прости за то, что я тебе их редко говорю Мама, я тебя люблю Скажи мне, мама, сколько стоит моя жизнь Моя жизнь — это драма, моя душа несется ввысь Скажи мне, мама, сколько стоит моя жизнь? Моя жизнь — это драма, моя душа несется ввысь. 
Hi, I'm Walt. I'm checking into room 407. My girlfriend Svetlana should already be checked in. Oh, I'm sorry. That room has already been checked in and out by three Russian gentlemen, I believe. What? what well, well, damn it!